and I apologize. But we are fed so much crap by our corporations and government every minute of every day. And I just can't take it anymore. A recent paper published in the American Journal of Medicine just studied what's inside two different brands of fast food chicken nuggets. The study found that the nuggets contained only 40 to 50 percent meat or muscle. The remaining ingredients that made up half or more of the nuggets they studied were added fat, blood vessels, nerves, glands, skin, and tendon. You know what the worst part about the story is? That it probably surprises exactly no one. We are all so used to being fed crap that we just take it as that's the way the world works. First, they literally feed us crappy food. And obviously, it's not just the chicken nugget makers using crappy chicken parts. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has plans to expand a meat inspection model where the companies who make the meat are responsible for inspecting the meat instead of having independent, unbiased inspectors. This model has been found to fail over and over again at preventing meat from being contaminated with fecal matter. That is some very literal crap. And then they also feed us figurative crap through advertising. Kellogg's just settled a false ad suit for saying that frosted mini wheats helps improve children's attentiveness by nearly 20%. How stupid is that? New research just discovered that 80% of herbal health products contain mysterious filler ingredients that aren't listed on their labels. And according to a recent study, as many as six out of 10 pharmaceutical drug ads make misleading claims. That is some really scary mind altering crap to be fed. Corporations and government feed us a load of crap all the time, figuratively and literally, to the point where we actually expect it. So there's nothing shocking in this story except for the fact that somehow we've all become okay with living in a world that constantly feeds us crap. So the question is, how much crap are we really willing to take? Tonight, Let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.